Hello everybody, EG4 Electronics is excited to showcase to you today the new Charge Rotor GC. The updates to this model include a new black design to better suit the modern look and feel of EG4 systems, as well as state of charge control and generator dry contacts for automatic start and stop of your generator systems. The connections on the Charge Rotor GC for generator contacts is an RJ11 port and you'll have an RJ45 with RS485 communications to communicate with your batteries. Let's go ahead and turn the charge verter on. Since we already have our generator dry contacts plugged in, it did try to boot up our gen, but since the SOC is above the threshold that it needs to be, it didn't uh, fully boot up. So we, we can see right here actually, we have 30% on our state of charge, communication to the battery. We're gonna go in here and change our start SOC and stop SOC. We're at 20 and 22 right now. Changing the start SOC first, is not advised because it won't actually elevate past that threshold. You have to go to the SOC stop first because that value always has to be higher. So let's go in here, make it 32%. We'll go back to that SOC start. And when we make the SOC start 30%, since our battery's at that level, it will kick on the generator. generator just kicked on and since we have a 100 amp current it will eventually uh, get up to that threshold. We'll give it a minute and it will start drawing amps from our generator to start charging our battery. Now that it's charging the battery it will wait till it gets to that 32 percent state of charge threshold and then the dry contacts will initiate the shutdown of our generator until batteries get drained below that SOC start value again. Some things to consider when including the charge verter GC in your system design. If you're utilizing communications between your inverter and battery, that should be prioritized. Your inverter and battery communication is significantly more important than using the state of charge on your charge verter. So don't compromise that just to get the communications on your charge verter. Additionally, if your loads on your inverter far and exceed what your charge verter is outputting to the batteries, it will actually use that power to your loads and not charge your batteries. So you wanna make sure that your loads don't exceed your charge verter's output if you want your batteries to actually be charged up uh, by your generator. The Charge Verter GC is a great addition to any system utilizing generator and batteries. For more information, visit eg4electronics.com. And until next time, I'm Braden with EG4 Electronics. We'll see you around.